everybody it's Michelle and I've been playing around with embossing on vellum and acetate and it has a really cool effect I just wanted to show you guys I think probably the one I really like the best is the vellum it is so cool it has this frosted look already it's sort of a plasticky paper and when you emboss it it turns white so you get a white raised impression and I think it's really cool so I wanted to do this one with snowflakes since it turns it white like that I thought that'd be really cute and maybe when winter time comes back around we'll try to make a card or a tag or something using that snowflake embossed vellum so I've got a piece here that's four and a quarter by five and a half which is the size of an A2 card and I may use the whole thing, I may cut it down, but this way I'll have, whichever way I decide to do it, I'll have enough. So I'm going to put that in my cuddle bug with my A plate and my B plate. I'm going to top it with another B plate. And run that through. And with the embossing, I make sure not to run it back again like I do with cutting because I don't want it to press too hard and end up cutting it. So you guys are going to love this if you haven't seen embossed vellum yet. Isn't that beautiful? I just love that white look that you get with that vellum. I cannot wait to use this on a Christmas card or some winter themed card or tag. But we can try it with a different impression so you can see it as something other than the snowflakes. I've got an embossing folder here by Doris and it's sort of a honeycomb or beehive pattern. I think it is really, really cute. So I'm going to line that up the way I want it. And fold that up. Put my embossing plate on top and run it through once. And I have not seen it this pattern yet. This is the first time I've done that. But I think it's going to look really good. Look at that. I really like that. That is so pretty. So this is not going to be a long video. I just really wanted to show you guys the technique and maybe we'll use them in a project later on. So now I want to show you guys what we get when we emboss on acetate. And I really, really love this. I think maybe the vellum is my favorite, but this is a really cool effect too. So I'm going to bring my plates back around. And I've got an embossing folder that is raindrops. And I'll include links to everything in the description below. So if you guys want to play around with embossing vellum and acetate, you can do that. And I'd love for you to show me your projects over in the Facebook group, Crafty Minds. So many cool crafts going on over there. I love to see them. Okay, so I'm going to be doing this with two different thicknesses of acetate to show you guys. This is a thin one that just comes in packs by, by the sheet. And you can see the difference in what kind of embossing texture you get with the different thicknesses. So that's the thin one and we're going to send that through. I 
I don't know if you guys can see that. On the thin one, it doesn't make a real prominent impression, but let me hold that in front of some white cardstock to show you guys. If you see, you get a little glimpse of how those raindrops catch the light. And I think that would be really pretty in a spring card. I think that is awesome. Okay, now for the thicker acetate. And this is packaging. You can hear how much thicker that is. That is from the front of the packaging on my scoring board that I recently bought. I showed you guys in my anniversary craft haul. So we're going to try the thicker one and run it through. I don't even know if you can buy this this thick for crafting with or if you just have to salvage from the packaging, which I always do. Line it up right. And send that through. I could feel a lot more resistance on that, putting that thicker piece through there. So let's see what we've got. That is a much more prominent impression that we get there. And I really like when you put this in front of white or a light colored cardstock, it really shows up. You'll get that sort of shadowing of the raindrops on the piece behind. This would be really cute for a window front card. I think that's really pretty. And it really did make a better impression with that packaging acetate. And just to show you guys the difference here, side by side. Let me bring in my cardstock again. Let's see if you guys can tell the difference on camera there. Oh yeah, that shows up a lot. See, that is a really big difference. The thicker the material, the deeper that embossing is going to be. And then we have our vellum. Let's see if we put that. We may need to show that in front of a colored background. Let's try my embossing pad from my cuddle bug. There we go. That shows up a lot more. I just love that effect. I think that is really, really cool. So I'm going to be playing around a lot more with embossing vellum and acetate and see what all I can come up with with this technique. I think this is a lot of fun. guys leave a comment below and let me know what you think don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel give me a like over on my facebook page and be sure to join our facebook group crafty minds also follow me on pinterest and instagram and don't forget to visit my blog i'll put the links to everything in the description below so be sure and check those out thanks for watching i'll see you next time Thank you.